Hello, hello YouTube, and welcome to this video on the basics of Liquid. Today we're going to be looking at truthy and falsy values in the Liquid templating language. So like any programming language, when you have something that is truthy, it is true, and when you have something that is falsy, it is false, and Liquid has the concept of true and false. So we'll look at how that works in Liquid and how that behaves when you're actually using these Boolean values inside of Liquid. So without talking much more, let's get into the code and see how this works. Thank okay, so in Liquid, we have truthy and falsy values, just like in any programming language. So if a conditional is evaluated, it either returns a true or a false, right? And in Liquid, there's really only a couple scenarios where something could be false and Otherwise, by default, everything is true. So it's fairly straightforward and easy to get used to, but we'll look at that right now. I'm gonna use some syntax here that you may not have seen yet, but we will cover it in a future video, which is the assign, which will allow us to assign a value to a variable. So if I wanna create a variable here, say Braden, I'm gonna make that equal to Braden, the string, and then I'll finish off this logic bracket here. Now, I've got a variable with the name Braden, and if I want to check if that variable actually has a value, then we can do a if statement and we can say if Braden, and then we can close off that if statement. And then in here we can say Braden has a value. And now we see Braden has a value. So this is just like in uh, JavaScript, if you are familiar with JavaScript, where if you want to check if a variable has a value, it will evaluate to true if it does have a value. So if Braden, which is evaluates to true because it does have the string value, it'll print out what's in, in the middle here. Now, if I were to change this to be, let's say nil, right? It wouldn't show anything here. And if I was to make this equal to false, it also wouldn't show anything here, okay? Now, if I got rid of this assign completely, Braden would also be nil, so it still will not show anything here, okay? And if I wanna double check that, I could say if Braden is equal to nil, and then it's gonna show the value here because Braden is equal to nil, okay? So just for your information, there are two scenarios where a value would be given a false value, and that's if the value is either nil or false itself. Otherwise, everything else evaluates to true in the liquid templating language. So if you have uh, a number or a float or an array or an empty array or a page object or an empty string or a string, all of that stuff is gonna evaluate to true by default. The only thing that will not evaluate to true is the false value itself and the nil value. That's all we needed to cover for truthy and falsy values. Thanks for sticking with me through another one of my liquid tutorial videos. If you enjoyed this video or if you have feedback, please leave a comment down below because I love to hear from you guys. Don't forget, if you want to stay up to date with the latest tutorial videos that I'm releasing, you can subscribe. And if you really enjoyed this particular video, hit that thumbs up button. Thanks for hanging out and we'll see you in the next one.